So you're going to pick a different song or poem. I chose Mary Had a Little Lamb. I actually copied and pasted the whole poem in here, then I added the print statements to each one. I then created variables, and I'm doing this like Mad Libs, except that you're not asking somebody for the input, we're just putting the input into the variables. So if I have a person, Steve Jobs, a lizard, for the pet, the color for green, the example is spinach, place, theater, group, singers, person two, Doctor Who, adverb, quietly in action, sings. Now let's take a look at how it works. The print statement is going to print anything in the parentheses. If it's a string, literal text, we need to put it inside of quotes. And the big thing, the mistake that most people make when doing this, in fact I had to fix two of mine after I tested it, was to remember to leave a space in the string so that there's a space between the string and your variable. This isn't covered till a later chapter. If you want a blank line, slash n, that's considered an escape sequence that gives you a new line. So we're simply concatenating our variables into our poem. And when we run it, you can see that it went in correctly. And I'm just checking to see if I have any typos in here. Nope, looks like I found them all. So you want to make sure to visually check your program when you're done. The other thing you can do is you can look for errors. And this is a warning error. I'm missing white space around the operator. So there should be a space after that wants me to leave presentation mode. So here's my error. And it wants me to put in a space here. So you want to should be doing So I should be able to type. There we go. I don't know what's showing that, but I leave the errors in because you may get the same thing. So now if I run it again, you'll see I have no errors. I've got a green check mark. So it doesn't really affect. That's why it's a warning. Everything looks the same here. It's just not written the correct way. So you want to make sure that it, you check both the results and look for errors in your Python code before you hand it in, because you'll lose a partial point for each error that I see when I run it. So it's a very simple program. We're just printing lines of text that we're substituting variables for specific words. So you'll create your own. You can use an existing speech or poem or song. Um, I think the most interesting one I've ever seen, somebody wrote a ransom note that was very entertaining. So have some fun with it, and please don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help.